Hi, Stephen Sashin from ZeroShoes.com with an answer to the question, which style of Zero Shoes do I get, the 4mm Connect or the 6mm Contact? And I know that is not 6mm, that is not 4mm. If it was, I would be very, very tiny. Here's what those actually look like. That's a 6mm Contact on the bottom and a 4mm Connect on the top. I know, pretty tricky to see because it's only a 2mm difference. Even in color, it's hard to see. That's a 6mm on the bottom in our um, Electric Mint and a 4mm Hot Salmon on the top. Also hard to see the difference, but just wanted to show you that. Now, the answer that I like to give to this question is, we made these inexpensive enough that you can get a pair of each and not have to worry about this question. But I'm sure some of you are looking to just get a single pair and you want to know which do I get. Now, let me first say, this is not about use. In other words, it's not like you use the 4 mil for one thing and the 6 mil for skydiving and hang gliding and shooting yourself out of a cannon. And it's also not about whether you're new to barefoot or um, an experienced barefooter. The transition is, does not, is not dependent on 4 or 6 mil. So it's really a question of how much barefoot feel do you want? Both of our products give you great ground feel, better than anything else you'll probably find. The 4 mil, obviously being thinner, just gives you better ground feel, more of a barefoot feel than the 6 mil. You can see here's the largest size we make in our 4 mil. This is a men's roughly 16. You can see it just retains its shape really, really well, um, but it's also incredibly, incredibly flexible. So if you're walking, you'll feel every little nook and cranny. If you're hiking and camping, you can grab the ground and really move yourself forward by feeling the earth. If you're using the 6 mil, conversely, um, it's just a little bit stiffer. So if you're walking on flats, it just smooths out the ride a little bit because any of those little bumps that you bump into, you just don't notice those. And on a trail, it smooths out the ride a little bit more because similarly, it's just a slightly stiffer ride. So the real question is simply, how much barefoot feel do you want? And make your choice from there. If that doesn't answer your question or you have any variations on a theme, feel free, drop us an email, give us a call, post a comment on our Facebook wall or Twitter or on our website or on YouTube, anywhere. We're here for you. We just want to help you have the fun and benefits of being barefoot and feeling the world.